So anyway, how does this work? Well, let's recall that we know that E times D minus some number X, X times lambda of N was equal to one, right? So remember that uh, originally Bob did that calculation, right? That was part of the building the system. But notice that we can solve this for E times D. That means that E times D is equal to one plus X times lambda of N. And now let's observe what's happening with uh, this C to the D power. So if we look at C to the D power, notice that C was the same thing as M to the E power, right? That's how Alice calculated C was it was M to the E power. But now observe that that is M to the E times D power by, I don't know, exponent rules or something. But now we know that E times D is equal to one plus X times lambda N. So this is equal to M to the one plus X times lambda of N. But observe that that's equal to M times M to the lambda of N raised to the X power, again by exponent rules. But then this thing right here, this m to the lambda n is actually equal to one. And that's equal to one, not by Fermat's theorem, but by something really related to Fermat's theorem. So that m to the lambda of n, you can think of that as like a to the p minus one. That gives you one because of Fermat's theorem, essentially. But if that's one and this is m, then m times one is m. And in the end, you have m mod n. So that's the math behind it is this is how the decoding works. C to the D turns out to be M because of, well, essentially because of Fermat's theorem.